Hi, everybody, and welcome inside the special holiday edition of Fighting Saints Weekly. Jordan Coons with you as the Saints come off of a weekend sweep of the Team USA under 18s this past weekend as the Saints picked up two tremendous wins over arguably some of the best talent in this entire country at this age group. So full marks to the Saints to get four points in the standings and to not only get those wins, but also propel themselves to the top of the Eastern Conference and in the Anderson Cup standings as the new year lurks right around the corner. The best part is that two thirds of the next upcoming games will be here at home. A huge advantage and a credit to the Saints of how well they've done on the road to begin this year because many of their road games are over. And that's a good thing to see that they have maintained about a 750 winning percentage while on the road. It's been outstanding to see that this team has been this resilient. Up here on the show here today, we're going to take a look at the highlights of those two wins, as well as tell you about the next upcoming matchup, which is right around the corner. There is indeed this holiday break, but on Sunday, the Saints have a game upcoming. We'll preview that and look ahead to the cool promotion we got coming up for that as well. But first, let's take a look at just how well the Saints did this past weekend. Good play there as he took the opportunity away from past the job in the slot. At the point, it's Lindgren with a shot. He scores. And Thompson gets it ahead to Ethan Susie. who's behind the defense. Susie shoots. He scores. Thompson put it on a platter for Nathan Susie. And the Fighting Saints have tied the game at one. As the Saints work the puck into the offensive zone, Mitchell Smith shoots, he scores! What a shot by Mitchell Smith, are you kidding me? From the goal line, he elevates it over the shoulder of Jake Ottinger, makes it 2-1. Kavanaugh across, Vance dusts it, shoots it, he scores! Carson Vance! A power play goal for the Fighting Saints. They now lead 3-1. Hawker takes a heavy hit to dump the puck in. Southers there. Took it away from Antero. Centering pass. Score! And who else but pass the job? Lays one across. Off a stick of how to shell. Brought by Susie. a shorthanded breakaway. He gets ahead of the defense with the backhand. He scores! Nathan Susie! Step by Mitchell Smith across the line. Lindgren to the attack. Got by another. Lindgren right to the goal. He scores. What a goal by Lindgren. And on the run is Zach Walker. Drops it back to Fox. Fox striking wide. Centering pass. Oh, Hunter Misk. An absolutely remarkable game-saving save on Zach Walker. Rumbling up the right wing, stops and waits, has a late man, Green, shoots one, score! Mitchell Smith, the deflection out in front, and the Fighting Saints lead 1-0 early in this one. Vance walks the line, fakes off to O'Leary, left side, rink wide, Keen, shoots it in front, and Zach Solo scores! On shot first, Zach Solo, 2-0 Saints, his first USHL goal on a pretty look. Round in here by Perrettino, backhand sachet, taken out by Dodd, right in front, Kavanaugh scores! <laughs> Shane Kavanaugh, 3-0 Saints, just five minutes into the second period. Local Michigan product is the shot from the line, deflected in! The Saints score! Casey Johnson from the left point just took the shot with traffic out in front. 4-0 they lead with a chance to make it 5. O'Leary, the tap-tap win. Johnson across, Holway, Rister, he scores! If that wasn't tipped on Ruth, that's Patrick Holway's first USHL goal. Might have been redirected out in front. The Dubuque Fighting Saints have put up a 5 spot against the Team USA under-18 squad. As USA with control, it's Bellows in the slot, shoots when he missed the net, rebound out in front, score! So up next for the Dubuque Fighting Saints is a game against the Youngstown Phantoms. It's going to be a special 5.05 start right here. It'll be a special holiday time. So it is the Youngstown Phantoms who are not far behind in the standings right now. A big reason why they are there is that they have lost in overtime six times. That's tied for most in the USHL. It's a team that is resilient. They don't go away. And the last time the Saints played them, 
This is the Youngstown Phantoms that came back from a 2-0 deficit very late in the third period and got it to overtime. The Saints did win on a Keegan Ford overtime goal. But we know that this is a Youngstown team that won't go away. They've got the USHL's best scorer in their lineup. His name is Cameron Morrison. He has 12 of his 30 points here in the month of December alone. So the Saints will have to look out for him defensively. The good thing for this matchup for the Fighting Saints side of things is they will receive their captain, Keegan Ford, as well as Spencer Young and Willie Neerham back into the lineup this upcoming Sunday. So back to full strength for the most part for the Fighting Saints this upcoming weekend. And this weekend's game is our 25th anniversary celebration of the movie Home Alone. So wear an ugly sweater to the game as well as take part with our Skate with the Saints after the game. Get a chance to skate with your favorite Fighting Saints after the game's conclusion. Again, a special 505 start. Mark that on your calendars, and we'll look forward to seeing you here on Sunday. A chance to end the new year here at home in a good way, or I guess you could call it the old year. Uh, bring forth the new year with a good thing, as the Saints will have Youngstown and then Madison that Tuesday. That'll be the last game of 2015, and then 2016 rings in with a game on the first, but we'll get to that next week. This is Jordan Kuhn signing off. Happy holidays, everyone, and Merry Christmas. We'll talk to you on the other side of the week as the Saints take on Youngstown. So long, everybody.